intro to the salad pod. Welcome to this episode of Vincenti Toolbox. I'm your host, Aaron Stowers, and today we're gonna be talking about something that's absolutely a game changer. It's not unique to the market and its form factor, but it's unique to the market and the, this particular form factor and how this system works. This system is designed to go on the back of your Ursa Mini Pro or your Ursa Mini in itself. And what it does is it replaces, it has a dummy CFAS 2.0 and there's other systems that are like this, but this you no longer have to worry about having a extra large heavy unit with cables going all over your camera coming every which way. This will actually fit on your unit perfectly and it's absolutely amazing and you can even install a one terabyte uh, one terabyte SSD drive into the solid pod. So let's take a look. Okay, inside the box, we'll open up the box. Now, this is not a traditional unboxing because obviously I opened it up before. So for the sake of transparency, I just wanted to say that. So you, you have your instruction manual right here and then the rest of it, you have all of the hardware and mounting points right here. And I'll tilt it up just so you can see what it looks like inside the box. First off, inside the box, of uh, when you first open it up, in order to get the uh, different accessories outside of the box, you're gonna have to use a little tool like this that goes into this slot right here. So there's uh, right here, we'll start with this little buddy right here, okay? And this is a, it looks like it's a SSD mount right here. And so far it feels very well made, um, high grade aluminum, I'm assuming. Uh, so we'll put that one to the side right here. Okay. Well, we have a, another mounting accessory. We all know what these are. These are cold shoe, hot shoe mounts. Okay. Then let's use the tool come through this bit right here this is a quarter 20 double-sided quarter 20 I'm sure I can't think of the name of these things right now but if you know you can leave in the in the comments <laughs> to remind me <laughs> you know so you also have another one and here's another option for mounting the, the, the CFAST 2.0 reader on your camera on an articulating ball mount right here for lack of better terms, okay? And then you have this little package right here with a you know, micro set, mini micro set of screws and we'll get it, you know, we'll see what that's for coming up. And last but not least, you have the CFAST 2.0, okay? Here. And I can just tell you right now that this feels absolutely amazing. There's nothing cheap about this. It feels really good. And here, I don't know if you can see this very well in the camera, but let me turn it around. And just as the name dictates itself, it feels very solid. It feels very well made. And the cord is not too long. And that's what my initial attraction to this product was and how it was made and how it works. And uh, we'll get into the inside of it where the actual SSD goes inside of it. You unscrew this bit right here, I believe. And out of here, you insert your SSD. And this is the uh, uh, CFast dummy part that goes inside of the Ursa. So let's take a look at how it, I'm gonna mount it and we'll take a look at how everything looks on the camera. So moving on to mounting the solid pod to the actual Ursa, okay? So I just put it up here like so. And this is one of the mounts that come with the kit right here. And just to show you, I just took one of the little pieces that came out of the kit, screwed it into the ball head mount right here. All right. And turn it around like so. And 
I just keep going around like that. I mean, there's an easier f way for me to do it probably, you know, but this is the way I found it easier. It's just to put it on that way and twist it, okay? And now that I can position this mount basically out of the way where, or in a position that works best for me, and then turn, turn the camera, I'm gonna turn the camera to the side like so, and then insert the CFAS 2.0. Let me get it in here the right direction, okay, because I'm working backwards. I don't know if you can see that, but it just goes in there like that. So as you can see, now you have any SSD size that you want, and in here is gonna be a one terabit uh, SSD slot that I have already, internal SSD, that goes into this holder and mount, and it's pretty sturdy, okay? I just don't wanna tighten this mount down. I've just had this up here for purposes of demonstration right now. And you can even close your door somewhat, not 100%, you know, of course, because there's a cord coming out of there with a dummy uh, CFAST 2.0 in there, but it's not cumbersome. It doesn't add all this extra weight. You don't have all these cables all over the place. It's a fairly simple setup. It takes minutes to install and it works absolutely fantastic. So anyone looking for an alternative option to the CFAST 2.0, I tell you, uh, you know, I have one myself. You know, the solid pod is a great option. It costs a fraction, you know, for less than half the price of a CFAST 2.0, you know, you can add up to one ter terabytes or whatever drive, you know, that you can fit internal drive, those micro drives that fit inside of this mount right here. You can have it and it works. So that's it for this episode of My Cine Toolbox. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. And you know, I'm trying to get better. I'm not used to being in front of the camera, as you can probably tell. But you know, I just, felt that to offer something to the cinematic community, something that's, that helped me out and that can help you out as well. And remember, I'm still giving away, and I really wanna give away a full DaVinci Resolve studio right here. I've had Blackmagic Cinema cameras since the uh, uh, 2.5K, and now that I've upgraded to the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, I'm giving away the full suite of DaVinci Resolve that came with it. And so all you have to do is like, subscribe to the channel, and like and subscribe to the My Cine Tupac fan page. Peace.